Okay guys, so me and my lovely mummy are on the train at the moment. We're going into London today. Um, we were very silly though because we decided to take the slow train and we've been sitting on it for like how long? Too, too long. Too long. Um, and then we have to go on the tube. Yeah? We're going on the tube next. Yeah, we're going on the tube next. Um, to Leicester Square. Change and then we're going to look circle. around and do some sightseeing and then we're going to do some shopping. Paddington Station. It is massive and it is so pretty. It looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Who did you see in the casino? Um, it's Ari Porter. I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys, we're currently in Leicester Square, and we just went. Where? We just went past the building where my mom uh, watched Magic Mike. Oh, <laughs> it was rubbish. Channing Tatum was not there. Oh, that's disappointing. So it was poor. I'm not surprised. My dad would be so jealous right now because we're in Eminem one. No, I'll show you. It smells so bad. I hate M&M's. Don't come at me for that. It looks so cool. Look who snuck out of lesson to come and say hi. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm back from London now. I'm not going to lie, it is actually the next day. Um, as you can tell, I didn't really get that many clips while me and my mum were there, but that's because I was genuinely just enjoying myself too much to even remember to try and take a video for you guys. However, I did buy a few things. I didn't spend too much because we spent more time like just looking around and viewing all the sites and stuff. But I will show you what I did buy. It's very like out of my comfort zone and not something that I would usually go for. However, I just wanted to try something a little bit different. So I will show you what I bought. Here they are. So... We'll start with the littlest bag. So, this is from Pull & Bear. And the only other time I've actually ever heard of this shop is from when I go on holiday to Ibiza. And I'm just gonna show you what I got. It will make sense once you see the rest of it, but I'm sure that most of you will be able to have an idea of what the outfit's gonna be. So this is what I got. This is kind of like the idea of what I had in mind when I went to London for like, if I was to buy any clothes, I kind of just had this outfit idea in my head. So I have this. It is so cute and I love this colour and the material is so lovely and it isn't like too thick to where I'll be sweating but also isn't too thin to where I would be freezing. And it was £20, I got it in an extra small and obviously as some of you will hopefully know I will wear it with a white t-shirt underneath like a really long one that kind of is the length of a dress but obviously you would wear bottoms with it still. So I got this. I did get some in different colours, but that's from a different shop, so I'll show you those in a minute. But this colour is, I think, definitely one of my favourites. Of course, I can't go shopping without buying something from Primark, so I'll show you what I got. I actually got the shirt from here um, for the outfit, so I'll show you that now. And this is what it looks like. I was debating on getting a long sleeve or a short sleeve, so I decided to get a long sleeve because I feel like... I could just pair it with like just a jacket over the top if I do need to and this I got it in a size 8 and it was £11 and it's really really good material and so hopefully it will kind of look how I think it's going to look. So I then got this, I am a bit worried that this is going to be too big even though it is an extra small I feel like it still might be a little bit too big but I think that this I can also pair with the shirt but I can also wear it with just like um, a normal plain black or white t-shirt as well underneath there just as something a little bit different and then finally H&M which is this big beautiful bag beautiful I did get some more of these of course so I got one in black because nothing beats black 
this i'm not going to lie they did not have my size in basically anything so this is a small even though i am an extra small this is a small um and even though it doesn't sound like a big difference it is actually a huge difference i haven't tried any of these on yet so fingers crossed they'll look good but i thought it's okay if it's a bit big because if the shirt looks a bit big having it a bit big over the top doesn't really look bad i don't think however that's just what i've seen on like models for example but i also got it in this color and this is massive so I'm... that is huge it's okay i'm sure it will look much better on than it does off and this one was 13 pounds and the other one was 10 pounds and then finally oh my god so me and my mum had to go all the way back to h&m to get this because we looked at it and i really liked it but we wanted to check primark first just to see if they had it just cheaper and they didn't so we had to go all the way back to h&m to buy it and it's this jacket and it is so nice this one was let me just see this one was 35 pounds and my mum was lovely enough to buy it for me so i'm just going to try all of these on now and show you what they look like okay so just bear in mind when i do show you what these look like it's obviously not gonna be worn with what i'm wearing at the moment it's just to show you because i haven't really paired them with like specific outfits yet for example this coat i know it can go with quite a few different things but i haven't like decided in my head what it's going to go with yet but i'll show you what it looks like anyway hey guys this is what it looks like it is going to be a little bit hard to show you because obviously i haven't got a huge room to be able to go very far back but this is what it looks like obviously i can have it done up but i kind of like it just undone like that i wouldn't wear it with this obviously but i think it's so cute and i love it and i very highly recommend okay so this is the next thing i think it is a little bit big but it's okay we'll just bear with me so this is what it looks like so this is the shirt on from Primark and this is the top from Pen and Bear. The thing is, I really, really love the colour of it, but I just think it looks so like, I feel like it just looks very wide, but I feel like there's something I could do with it, if you know what I mean. I'm not as keen on this one. It is definitely too big because I'm like an extra small and this is a small. And like I said, the difference is massive. Which is a shame because I really like it, but it doesn't fit, so it has to go back. So you're gonna have to bear with me for this one. So like, hold on. I really love the colour of this, and I just love it. And it's like, I thought it's really big, so it doesn't look right, but it's so small. Therefore, I've kind of come to the conclusion it's meant to look big, but it just doesn't look right with the white shirt. So I think that if I was to wear it without this, and maybe with like a vest or something underneath, which was my mum's idea, then it would look a bit better. So maybe I will just try that instead because I do really like the colour. So this is the last one. And this is what it looks like. The only like thing I'm thinking about it is the fact that this does look really long. But I do really like it. So I think I'm just going to keep it and stop like being negative about it and just think of the positives. Like I really like it. So I'm just going to keep it and I'm going to wear it. And I'm just going to like gonna put it off you know anyway that is everything so if there's anything that you want to know about any of the items that i have bought then you can just ask me in the comments down below or you can just dm me on instagram at x.lcf.x i think i think it's that but as for today's video this is me bringing it to an end i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>